Hello everyone, welcome to This Day. It is Thursday, August 22nd. I'm the other host not named Bree. I'm Michael Taylor. Thanks for joining us on this great Thursday. Heading towards the weekend, it's gonna be a good one. I hope you're looking forward to it and we've got some great temperatures to tell you about in just a second. But first, I wanna talk about what's on the show and we are going to be talking all about United Mutual. They got a great slide presentation for us. Gonna go through all sorts of things they've been working on, including a survey they took of residents that is actually pretty interesting. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna welcome Georgiana Willis and Allison Bach to the program. They're gonna go all through all the information with us. So stay tuned. Right now though, we wanna talk about a little bit of another uh, group here in the Homeowners Association. It's third town hall meeting. Their next town hall meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, August 28th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. in the Sequoia Ballroom at Clubhouse 2. Don't miss the opportunity to attend and share your comments, questions, and suggestions with third board members. Get out there and enjoy the town hall. Let's take a look outside. Let's enjoy something else, the beautiful weather that we're going to have today. I'm going to say it's going to be nice, wonderful temperatures, low 80s, high 70s all through the weekend. Look at that, nice, nice and sunny. We had the morning haze a little bit, a little bit green layer, but it's been burning off pretty quick. Monday, we're going to have a little bit of heat, but let's, that's Monday's problem. Let's not even worry about that. Look at the rest of the week. Look at a great weekend. Let's enjoy our weekend. Then we'll deal with the heat on Monday as we have to, of course. All right. Let's take a look at our sunrise and our sunset. Beautiful picture here from Dana Point. There's a sunset for you if I've ever seen one. Uh, sunrise this morning was 618. Sunset tonight is 728. If you'd like to send us a sunrise or a sunset picture or pets, places, travels you've done, we'll take it all. Email us, Laguna Woods Village at tv at gmail.com. Make sure you include your name, where you took the picture, and we will use it in our sunrise sunset segment. Okay, we've got one meeting to tell you about. Then when we come back, United Mutual Update. Stay with us. We believe every senior should be able to remain healthy, happy, and at home. At Caring Senior Service, we understand the value of compassion and companionship. Our caregivers promote health, happiness, and independence. We cook nutritional meals, engage in meaningful activities, run errands, do light house cleaning, and more. Call us toll-free at 833-926-3700 or visit our website, CaringSeniorServiceLW.com. Healthy, happy, home. Caring Senior Service. There's something for everyone at the Festival of Arts in Laguna Beach. My favorite is the unique fine art jewelry and painting. Our little one always has so much fun at the art classes and junior art exhibit. And my husband just loves to buy art for our home from local artists. What a great way for us to enjoy summer together. There's so much to see and do here at the Festival of Arts in Laguna Beach. Did you know that tinnitus or ringing in your ears can be a sign of hearing loss? Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Rodriguez, one of the audiologists here at Amazing Hearing. Contrary to what many doctors may tell you, tinnitus can be helped and often eliminated. I'm a doctor and I thought I'd have to live with the tinnitus and my hearing has gone from uh, loud tinnitus to no tinnitus in a week and a half. Call us today for a free consultation. Amazing Hearing, the hearing and tinnitus experts. I heard that ugly six-letter word, cancer, and I immediately felt lost. Our team of women's cancer specialists helped thousands of women like Naomi navigate and beat cancer. I didn't want to be treated like a cancer patient, but like a human. Our advanced imaging, targeted radiation, and minimally invasive surgeries offer positive outcomes that are beating national cancer survival rates. I reclaimed the most beautiful four-letter word, life, because I had City of Hope on my side. Welcome back, everybody. United Mutual did its member survey recently and here with some of the results and interesting information. I want to talk to Georgiana Willis from uh, as a director and Alison Bach, our president over there at United. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you. So you guys do this survey every year. 
is, no. Oh, or is it? Is it? No, oh, so gosh. it's brand new. I, that's what I was going. That was my, yeah, my yeah. first question. So yeah. you've never. What What made you decide? Okay, we want to kind of do a resident survey and get right. this information. What made you say this is an important thing that we should kind of get this info on? Well, it's probably uh, the result of um, not having any any factual information mm -hmm. uh, about what people actually want, what they do, where they're from. What they, why they came here, mm -hmm. and so on. So a survey had never been done in United to our knowledge, at least within living memory. And uh, so we uh, looked at ways of doing it. And of course, surveying has changed a great deal. Mm -hmm. It's modernized. There are lots of survey platforms available now right. that are low cost, that are fast, that people can use quickly. <coughs> and to get a, a look at our population, which by the way, rolls over at 5% every year. <laughs> right, so it's an ever-changing demographic and population, is. right? So even if past surveys had been done maybe 10 years ago or so, we'd have 50% new people anyhow to mm -hmm. ask these mm -hmm. questions of. There so you go. we did it. Um, <laughs> and we did it through the newsletter. Uh, every couple of weeks, the United newsletter comes out. Okay. We've got about 3,900 subscribers to that uh, newsletter out of 6,323 manor residents. Okay. So we get a very good penetration, and we got 798 responses. Can we call them 800? Sure, absolutely. Right. I'm with okay. you. <laughs> Let's round up. 20 per, well, about 21 percent. Yeah. And so you asked 19 questions. 19 and there questions. Were, and, and there were kind of, kind of a, 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 we'll go through some of them here in a second. Yeah. And um, it went through June through July. You basically said, right. get these back to us at some point. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. and, and I guess the were people asking why are we why are we doing the survey? Not really. <laughs> no, you know, you can't buy a cup of coffee today without getting a survey after it about uh, know how satisfied you were with the service. So I think people are used to being asked questions about how good, are, how good was the service, how are we doing? So we got great responses, I say over 20% response. Uh, and because it was fast, easy, click and take the survey and you're done. Mm -hmm. that, that made it easy. Well, there, you go. there was no paper and pencil, there was no mailing it back, there was no losing it, just do it and be done. All right, Georgiana, we're going to get you in here. What are some of the results? We got lots of charts. We got some of the right. up and downs and well, bar graphs. It won't take long. <laughs> we'll go through them quickly and painlessly as possible. <laughs> but anyway, the first question was just sort of to get an idea uh, of the location of the respondents. And most mm -hmm. came from gates one and three. Okay. And the least uh, responses came from gates five and people near gates five and six, which you understand because we have less real estate there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they were there were only who replied, um, they were resident owners. Mm -hmm. So we did have a few renters, um, okay. but they were still on the newsletter list, so they had a right to so, yeah. right. reply. The yeah. majority of folks were yeah. those who owned and lived in their Correct. manor. Okay. Correct. And it kind of goes yes. down there, I'm renting and you know, right. I live yeah. in a manor. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. folks just live there, but they don't neither own. There may be a relative or something like right. that that's kind of like a, a yeah. cousin or an uncle or something. Right. Correct. Still, that, that was a good uh, response, 92 or 93 percent. Yeah. Um, yeah. Terrific. Yep. Next. And where, where do you reside before moving? Uh, California. We're a known quantity in California. Yes. A desired location. <laughs> but uh, this is interesting. Uh, California, of course, was the major, followed by... Midwest, Northeast, uh, you know, the West, non-California. And then if they came from outside the U.S., um, this is interesting. We have people from uh, Antarctica. I assume it wasn't a joke. I, 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 yeah, I know, know. I know. Maybe they were researchers. <laughs> That's the only reason. I'd like to meet you, whoever We've you are. We've been researchers please. there for 20 years. We decided to retire somewhere just a little warmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you see how the breakdown goes, and this is quite interesting. So probably people did research online and found out what a great place we yeah. are. Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah. I think, I think um, these communities are becoming more and more known in the oh, world yeah. in terms of that kind of thing. With the, with the mm -hmm. spread, I know we're not leisure world here anymore, but leisure world's all over the country right. and those kind of things. They're becoming mm -hmm. something that's more and more appealing and people know mm -hmm. more about. Yeah. For sure. Next. Okay, so how many years have you lived Next. in Laguna Woods Village? Yes, the, the the most respondents had lived here, or the greatest number, for three years. Okay. But you've got them anywhere from uh, one to or zero, less than a year, 
up to uh, 30, 34 or 36 years. 36 rather. years in the yeah. village. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so I imagine there's quite a difference in the HOA between <laughs> between then and now. <laughs> so, but I'd say people who've lived here years one through three were the highest number, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, very in between. Okay. And then we have uh, you had three factors that are most important in your decision to move to Laguna Woods Village. And this is a very telling one, I imagine. Yes, it is. This is an important one. Location, location, location. <laughs> yeah. Conrad Hilton was right. Isn't that the quote for Conrad <laughs> yes, Hilton? I think yeah. So. Um, and then safety from crime, the cost of entry. We are a very, very good bargain mm -hmm. in Southern California. And then uh, recreation and weather. Weather is kind of, I mean, you can blend yeah. it into location. You know, yeah, I'd say, you know, I mean, the, for the, mm -hmm. uh, aside from location, mm -hmm. weather, yeah, I think really the other ones are pretty even, you know, in terms yeah. of the, the safety yeah. and cost right. and recreation, right. Right. a little bit of everything, especially since people are choosing mm -hmm. all three, mm -hmm. you know, three of three choices there. That, yeah. uh, that those, there's not just, there's never just one factor that gets you. That's right. Unless it's grandkids, yeah. then you have to move. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. And it, it really, uh, uh, also put some context to the idea that people just come here to golf mm -hmm. or to play mm -hmm. X. Mm -hmm. they, it's, that's not the main factor. Right, for the most right. Part. So all things considered, how yeah. satisfied are you with the move here? So well, that, what, that was gonna, another yeah. question you got there. Yeah, 51% uh, are very satisfied. Uh, then it was 33% who are satisfied. Uh, I guess it was 14% who were somewhat satisfied, and um, seven, uh, there were 17 respondents, or 2%, who were not satisfied. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but again, you never know, is that due to failing health or right. other okay. issues, family issues, et cetera? Okay. Because a lot of times people make a move because they want to be closer right. to family. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's pretty, I mean, for satisfied and, and uh, very satisfied, I mean, we're talking about 80, 84% yeah. or so, if, you know, either yeah. satisfied or very satisfied. So that's a good number. Yeah. So when you look at this, does it make you want to say, okay, well, let's do a follow up survey? Mm -hmm. What are some of the th kind of things? Is there, is there an opportunity to? think maybe in a future survey to kind of go deeper dives on some of the questions? In sure, of there is, because you have to look at that 16, 17% who are not satisfied mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and find out why. And actually, in the open-ended questions later in the survey, uh, some of that came out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sometimes people had specific issues as to their manner. They had a plumbing problem. They had, mm -hmm. you know, a contractor problem that soured their yeah, view. Nothing, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, nothing makes you more upset when you move into a new yeah. place than you're doing plumbing immediately right. or you're tearing right. out drywall or yeah. something along those wood yeah. lot. Right. So that can really sour folks to their, their whole idea mm -hmm. of coming here and having a new life. And it could be temporary. And right. be, you know, as soon as they get through yeah. that, they're okay. <laughs> but you're right. There's, there's Ask them, ask them next year. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> See where their head's at. Oh, How satisfied are you with the neighborhood as a place to live? There's another one here. Well, that's 56% 50, were satisfied. Mm -hmm. That is uh, uh, very satisfying. Yeah, that's very. 443 people. Uh, the next group was 32% uh, are satisfied. Uh, about 10% are somewhat satisfied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there were, it was a 3% or 25 people who were not satisfied. Mm -hmm. And so you don't know, uh, we don't know what the specifics are here. Right. Because uh, sometimes you could have a personality clash with a neighbor sure. and it, right. it has yeah. nothing to do with your housing. Yeah. So right. I don't like the way they pick up the trash. Who knows? <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't like the noise you make. <laughs> the, dog. the lawnmowers the dog start works. too early in the morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure, there's a, and they're all yeah. factory, but I think I mean, probably maybe some of that, like you said, the, the open ended questions at the end right. of the survey may have come out. And again, would be an interesting thing to kind of follow up on folks right. like what would make you more satisfied? What would it, what mm -hmm. would it be? That kind of thing. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, let's see, last community which you lived, would you say moving Laguna Woods has improved your quality of life? That seems to be the majority yeah. there. Yeah, that was an interesting question, um, you know, and again, that means uh, many things to different people. You know, what is the satisfaction? Are mm -hmm. they satisfied because they're closer to family? Are they, are they satisfied because it's cheaper or mm -hmm. it's things are being done for them? 
But this whole feeling of um, my life is happier or less happy than uh -huh. it was gets this question tries to reach that in sort of a gestalt way. No, you sure? Yeah. And sometimes, you know, some people like, like I remember I bought my condo and the reason right. that people were moving is because they couldn't do stairs anymore. True. You know, so then some right. people, they, don't, they didn't want to leave, but they right. had to. So, I mean, I can yeah. imagine some people are like, well, we kind of needed to come here right. because of certain circumstances. Right. So that right. just like, they missed their old life, they missed their old neighborhood, whatever right. it might be. Right. So who knows? Yeah, yeah but this that's... is a touchy-feely one, and <laughs> it's hard to get to the bottom of the specifics <laughs> yeah. here. But maybe it, and maybe it's not our business. <laughs> So Laguna Woods provides a safe and secure environment. Yeah, this one is very, this is a, you, have, you couldn't even say anybody was upset well, with this one. Well, that's 51% <laughs> said they uh, strongly agree with that statement. Uh, another 45% agree. Right. And then when you get down to the uh, disagree, it was uh, 3%. Yeah, you can barely then, see that line. Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah, great. Yeah, and then the, yeah. the close to invisible one, which is strongly disagree, uh, that was five respondents. Yeah. So they might have um, got a recent ticket or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it. That'll do it for sure. <laughs> yeah, I remember after I first moved here, I was going over to a friend's condo. Uh, because she was out of the country and she'd run it out and I, I was going to take care of something over there and um, uh, I was stopped. Ooh, dangerous person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a ticket and, I, and you're thinking, I'm just going to do a friend a favor and, you know, just, you know what can I say? <laughs> so that would be the day. If that happened that day, I'd get, I'd get a strongly disagree out of that one. <laughs> yeah. A lot of it is contextual. Uh, satisfied with the management. This is a, definitely one yeah. that hits your home right. in terms of the HOA and the other folks that are doing yeah, things here. Yeah, and VMS, yes. Mm -hmm. So again, looking at very high agreement, mm -hmm. strongly agree and agree that by and large people are satisfied, mm -hmm. you know, are, mm -hmm. are happy, very happy. And I think reasonability mm -hmm. is the factor here. Right. People are reasonable and realistic about what to expect. What to expect, what can be done, what, what can't be yes, done. Yes, exactly. Know? Yeah. This day and age. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this village, I certainly, you know, I, in my goings through the village and seeing the amenities and things like that, I can't imagine being terribly unsatisfied with everything that's here right. and the cost compared right. to the cost people pay for these services mm -hmm. and amenities and pools and mm -hmm. rooms and all the things. Yeah, so right. yeah, it's great uh, satisfaction there. Right. And uh, also, I mean, sometimes people are going to complain, well, there's a wait or this or that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I've pointed out before, this isn't a country club. We, we <laughs> offer amenities. And one person's response, oh, yeah, it is a country club. Uh, and I'm thinking, OK, you want to spend a lot more money than I want to spend. So, so uh, but well, we do have a broad range of amenities. But you know, sometimes people end up join, may end up wanting to join a private club where they may have more of that mm -hmm. stuff available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You never know. Sure. Well, there you go. Um, then you ask folks, what could they, what change would they make? Well, this this yeah. was what one, got the the, a lot of responses. Right. Uh, okay. And so uh, maybe I could go over some sure, of them because please. they gave. This is it. The 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 question was what would, what one change, and if you could make a second change, uh, we left it totally open ended. So it brought a variety of responses, which fell sort of into maybe five categories, and it would impact GRF, VMS maintenance, landscaping, and fees. So I'll just go through this briefly sure. with you. And uh, so far as uh, GRF, residents want the crime report back for a better idea of how things are going in their neighborhoods. And they want more pickleball courts. Others want fees charged for pickleball, tennis, and lawn bowling proportioned as golf fees. Uh, in addition, they want to eliminate underused amenities such as the equestrian center. Uh, other comments had to do with reducing or freezing the $7,500 fee uh, when people move in and uh, wanted to remove the blinking stop signs, the flashing mm. stop signs. <coughs> sure. Um, and then the next set of comments were related to VMS. And there were numerous requests to dissolve VMS and hire professional management, uh, a professional management company to hire contracts with private companies. Uh, because they, many felt the costs associated with being an employer uh, were too high and want to mm -hmm. remove some of those costs. Uh, concerns were also expressed 
uh, that people were being priced out of their homes by the growing um, assessment costs. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were also complaints about long waits for appliance replacement, another one for 13 weeks waiting for a, a wiring inspection. Oh, wow. And then one about a, 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 a condo being unlivable for 15 months when a unit's uh, neighboring units um, flooded her. her. Oh, okay. so a lot anyway. of these are really yeah. specific. Yeah, this is a really drill really, down. Yeah, drill down to something <laughs> awful that it happened. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But then there was also a, a comment: yeah. everything is just fine. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, right. so you're getting a, the whole gamut there. Maybe they're uh, skewing the pie chart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Is it that a perfect yeah. chart? Yeah. I mean, no. But anyway, while there were, uh, so far as maintenance, while there were complaints about uh, constant sewage problems or water drain or water drainage after rains. Uh, there were frustrations with the first person who would come from maintenance saying they were unqualified to diagnose it or incompetent mm -hmm. or whatever. And normally, then they complain again and the same person comes back. And, and so it prolongs t taking care of the problem. Right. And it can be exacerbated and sometimes, you know. Uh, but uh, I think um, one resident complained about uh, some glass around the trash area, and another one about a verbally abusive. <laughs> Seems um, like some, again, some pretty person. drilled down complaints there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, and, let's jump over to um, things that people enjoy about living right, here. Right, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I want to make sure we get it. I want to make sure we get all our graphs. The clubs, in. the clubs, the clubs. The fact that there are so many clubs, over 200 and what, 40, 50 mm -hmm. clubs of various interests. They're open to all. You can join. You can not join. You can drop in. You can, you know, get heavily involved. So the clubs, special interest clubs, the athletic activities, mm -hmm. classes, and workshops. So they also love the location, the landscaping, peace and quiet, proximity, mm -hmm. um, security, and safety. Uh, the variety of uh, amenities available. Yeah, terrific. Yeah, and then uh, some other fun things mm -hmm. like access to the internet and transportation, mm -hmm. which are really interesting questions in terms Very. of you know the services that are provided right. here. Right, right, exactly. No, it was um, interesting to see that people want to drive their cars. They want the independence of right. being able to jump in the car. And, Most of the people, 96% are driving their cars. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and yep. the internet every day? So again, Every day, yeah. yeah. Every day. This is interesting, every single day. Of course, given the fact that we had a um, uh, population here under 10 years for the most part, the who mm -hmm. responded to this, they are more internet savvy right. and tied to getting their news and information electronically. And then we asked the next one to briefly share feedback on all aspects of Mutual's laundry rooms. Uh oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this one right. might take a minute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you wanted to handle that one? Okay, okay on, wait a minute, I'm on the wrong one, I think. Okay, we're on laundry rooms, right? Frequent comments that people had for the yeah. laundry rooms? Yeah, in, a, in, in United, a number. Some folks didn't use them, but found them yeah, convenient exactly. for washing. So right. yeah, some yeah. people aren't even using the service. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So they're they're really um, uh, all over the map. But yeah, th and there yeah, were definitely. specific uh, instances where um, it took a very long time to get parts to repair a machine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is frustrating. Um, that maybe something got stolen out of right. a washer or dryer. I don't know why anybody would do that, but it it can happen. Um, okay. Nobody complained about the dollar a load price. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, it's, it's a bargain. A bar, it? <laughs> it's, it's the best deal here. <laughs> Maybe the only one. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, yeah, mm -hmm. but I, I think it was uh, even people who aren't using them, who have their own washing machines, appreciate that they're there in case they have extra. Yeah, yeah. or in case one of theirs fails or something right. like that, too. They right. just goes down, you can walk over there for a buck. Right. Um, the epoxy that's going on in, yeah. in the wastewater line program. That's a, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was that's like sixty nine percent said yes to that. Yeah. Get it going. So so that's mm -hmm. that's good. some marching orders there. <laughs> yeah, nothing makes people crankier than plumbing problems, backups, unable to use a shower, a toilet, a tub. Right. And then landscaping is another one. I want to make sure we get through these. Uh, how many times a month would you like to see landscaping going? So twice a month is basically the, the seems to be the biggest response there. Yeah. yeah. And depending on the time of year, that's actually what they're getting right now. <laughs> so it ranges between two and four times a month 
for mowing, mm -hmm. and then uh, the um, shrub bed maintenance is uh, once every uh, three or four months. But people are, this is what they say they would like, and you know what, they're getting it right now. There you go. The and then uh, one of our last ones here, increased service comes with increased costs. Is that acceptable? <laughs> well, heck no. I want it free. I want it now. <laughs> what's, what's the problem there? Why would I have to pay for something just because I got more of it? <laughs> yeah. The more you buy, the more you save. <laughs> but, but, you know, the fact that, that some significant percentage said yes, they would yeah. means that people are reasonable. Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> you know, we're all living in the same world. We're not in a protected bubble. Exactly, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, and I think, too, like uh, some work... Some of the complaints had to do with the the leaf blowers. Right. And I know in my neighborhood, there, there's, and we're not talking about where there might be dirt from edging or something right. like that. Just the parking lot. So sure. the Gotta people complain about out. the noise pollution <laughs> or or whatever. And um, and so uh, I, I can understand that because when you look at the cost on an annual basis, just for blowing dust around a parking lot. I mean, they, they do send out these machines that water everything down and mm -hmm. sort of clean yeah. to begin with, but if it's maybe costing you 60000 a year to just blow stuff around, I, I don't see the purpose. There you go. Well, if people want to get involved and yep. get more involved, they can come meet ah. the candidates at 10.30 a.m. Monday. Or, and we're, we're, No, we're, tomorrow, Friday. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Friday, this Friday. Yeah, tomorrow we have meet Friday, the candidates meet for the United, candidates. 10.30 in the morning in the boardroom or on... So TV6, and uh, we have eight candidates, including two incumbents, and uh, I do hope people will pay attention Absolutely. to the messages, to the backgrounds, and vote when the time comes. Come on out this uh, tomorrow, 1030, in the right. boardroom, folks, for the Meet the Candidates for United. Georgiana Willis and Allison Bach, thank you so much for joining us. My Lots of good pleasure. information there. I hope thank you get you. a lot of good use out of it. Thank it's you. been real. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching this day. We're going to do some movie previews when we come back. What would it feel like to hear better? Many people are trapped in the isolation of poor hearing and don't realize it. Even people that are wearing other hearing aids. They only know the way they hear, not how much better they could be hearing. We've taken patients that were hearing 24% of conversations and improved them to 92%. A life-changing difference. Put on these hearing aids and hear better, automatically. No buttons to push or technology to fear. Artificial intelligence and these products do all the work. Don't settle for less. And remember, tell them Stuart sent you. I'm so happy to recommend Dr. Fairman. I've been going to her for nine years. She's done implants, crowns, bridges, root canals, and I've been happy with everything that she's done. The staff is so friendly and pleasant, kind and gentle. I would recommend her to anyone. We are now fully open for all your dental needs and invite you to come in and experience the brilliant smile difference. We are close to gate six near Snooty Fox Restaurant behind Coco's. Welcome to Envision Eye Centers, conveniently located next to Laguna Woods. We offer cutting edge technology that meets unsurpassed service. You and your eyes are my priority. We will treat you with the utmost care and compassion. Some might offer local exams, but they'll send you on a trek for surgery. Skip the unnecessary travel. You can be confident that we will deliver the best outcome for your eyes. Schedule your consultation today and see the world clearly. Call us or visit our website. No inconvenience, just expert care. All right, folks, the Friday movie is The Sting. It's a classic from 1973 with Robert Redford, brought to us by Radnet. It's going to be at 2 p.m. with the subtitles, 6 p.m. without the subtitles. Tomorrow in the program, we got The Cat Club and Sports Corner, so stay tuned for that. For all of us here at Village Television, we hope you make this day a great one.